Thinking of selling your house? Here's what you need to know about compensation for buyer's agents. I'm Eve Metlis with Watson Realty with your Tuesday tip. And you may have heard that changes are here about how your home can be listed and marketed, especially when it comes to compensating buyer's agents. As of August 17th, your realtor can no longer include an offer to compensate buyer's agents in the multiple listing service, which is the go-to space where agents share all the details about homes for sale. So what's really changing? I need to clear up a common misconception. Sellers are not being told they can't offer compensation to buyer's agents. The National Association of Realtors has made it clear that you can absolutely offer compensation as a strategy to make your home more attractive to potential buyers. However, there are some new rules to follow. Your realtor must clearly disclose to you any offer of compensation to a buyer's agent. This isn't just a quick mention. It's got to be front and center and needs your green light. The disclosure must include the exact amount or rate of payment being offered. This has to be done before any offer is made. The offer of compensation can no longer be included in your multiple listing service listing. Should you or should you not offer compensation then? While you're not required to compensate a buyer's agent, deciding not to could have some unintended consequences. Sure, saving on commission might sound appealing, but before you make a final decision, consider this. Fewer buyers might mean fewer offers. You want every possible buyer to walk through your door, right? If you're not offering to compensate buyer's agents, some potential buyers might skip your listing altogether. Why? Because they're only looking at homes where the seller is covering their agent's compensation. This could be especially important if your home is competing with other properties in your area. Longer time on the market can impact your sales price. Remember the days when homes were flying off the market? <laughs> Those times have changed. The longer your home sits unsold, the more buyers might wonder, what's wrong with this place? That lingering doubt often translates to lower offers. If not offering compensation shrinks your pool of interested buyers, your home could end up staying on the market longer, which could lead to a lower final sales price. The bottom line is this, think before you skip compensation. While not offering compensation to a buyer's agent might seem like a way to pocket more money, it could end up costing you in the long run. Fewer offers and longer days on market can easily eat into any savings you hope to make. So take a moment to weigh these pros and cons before making your decision. That's today's Tuesday tip.